My name is uh, Jonathan, living in USA. The ministry is, is stuck, doesn't grow. The lady standing uh, beside me is my lovely wife. I wanted you to remember that girl before this, your wife. I'm not here to disturb your marriage, but I'm here to deliver you. <coughs> what you said is true. Looks like the lady I dated before starting the ministry is the one I supposed to marry. I met this one before even going to USA. Thank you, man of God. My name is Rachel. I'm married to Pastor Jonathan. So I will elaborate more on what he's saying. Before I met him, he was, I knew that he was our coordinator in the church. He was uh, the coordinator of all the choir, choir members, a great coordinator of the region. So I knew that he was in relationship with a certain girl. She was also a singer. Me, I knew that he would just marry that girl. But all of a sudden, it changed and he came to me. But I was denying, I was reminding about that girl. No, I, I learned that we were in a relationship with a certain girl, baby. And then he said, no, our relationship ended because I came to realize that God did not want me to marry her because I wanted her to stay here in our region due to the trouble that we had in our country, Congo, and then they had to move to another, to the, another region. He even went to follow the girl, but he went to find out that the girl got another man. She was engaged to another man, and then he said, no, I cannot do it because you we were engaged to another man, but the girl cried. She did not like that man she was engaged to in the region. She wanted my husband. But he said, no, because you are engaged to that person. I told you we need to be faithful. I don't know, she was forced by her parents to be engaged to that man. And then he decided to come back to the region. He finished his studies at university. I finished mine. And then he came to propose me. And we got married in the region. And we got the child, one child. And then we moved to Namibia. Namibia, we came to U.S. <laughs> You have something here, and uh, one of your organs is sick. Yes, man of God. Yeah. The doctor told you? They, they yeah. always tell you, the liver has a problem. Don't eat the liver again. He loves eating liver. At 15, there was a place where they used to roast the meat when you were 15 years, yes. you people used to go there and uh, buy and eat from there. Yes, 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 man of God. So that is where you started eating too much. It's true, man of God. So, yes. Even now you dream you are at that place, Bo. It is called Bo, whatever Bo. Bibondo. 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 What he said is a true man of God. At the age, age of 15, we used to buy those. You dream that you have gone back to Bibondo. It's true man of God. And they are trying to feed you with the, you're trying to <laughs> eat. I used to see that in my dream. So what you said is, I confirm it. This is what was going to kill you. Deliver me, but I'll man of pray. God. The Lord will not allow you to go until you are 86. Amen. Be born God. <laughs> the business of the clothes, somebody jumped into it. The business of clothes? Yes. So we went to China to buy clothes for, to make business, but. Mm. People took some of the items and some of them they did not pay, but we keep some there in the house. We don't sell them. They are there. It was a younger girl yeah, thank you, who jumped into your business, business yeah, to fail you. you. That is what the, the business it did, did not, not go yes. move forward. She did not come as a worker. She came as a customer. Mm -hmm. Come. I want the other girl. Yes. Come. She's not the one, she's not the one, she's not the one. 
Yes, man of God. I remember the woman. She's light like this one, but a little bit tall. She came, I don't know how many times, to her home to get the clothes. She grabbed a lot. Any type of clothes, she will grab some. No, I will take this. And I was even asking her, will you be able to pay all this you are taking? So no, I will pay you. She's the one till now she, she didn't pay. She paid a little of, just in a certain amount of money. For four years now, she still has the money. You are going now back to the business. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, some items you have gone, getting them from Congo. Amen. But when she comes, I want to take this amount. Tell her, no. No. Thank you. Everything will be all right. Amen. I won't say much about her. Thank you, Jesus. Because Amen. God doesn't allow me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.